the hell's up everyone oh man it's been a crazy year like i'm just gonna put it as it should be put i've been milking the shit out of my gaming channel <laughs> ever since i started playing um black ops cold war and it's crazy because it's like you know um vanguard's coming out or at least by the time this video is posted it will already be out i don't know if i'm gonna get it though kind of on the fence i mean if you want to buy it for me go ahead i'll play it but <laughs> no guarantees that i'm gonna hop on it right away but yeah, a lot of the filming that I've been doing this year has been for my gaming channel because, I mean, I like to do my hobbies as they go. At least in that fashion because, I mean, between... So take 2020, for example. Like, the only th only things that I uploaded last year were Minimal Effect Sketch Season 2, my Dragon Ball Fighter Z Let's Plays, and then the first... The first minimal effort sketch special, the big sketch that I did. It was kind of an impulse idea because it's like I didn't, I don't want to stop drawing this year because I've got an idea that I want to go ahead and put out there. So I figured, you know, don't do it on the sketchbook, do it on the 18 by 24 um, centimeter pad that I ended up doing it on. And then I thought, you know, I did, I did start uploading a lot to my gaming channel. Um, so many fucking Cold War videos, multiplayer, zombies, which, hey, guys, I'm still down to do if you guys ever want to join in, so, just hit me up, but, <clears throat> after the multiplayer videos on my gaming channel, I did end up doing Minimal, minimal Effort Sketch Season 3, and then, after that, I started Let's Panic, Let's Panic again, honestly, I kind of wish those videos had taken off, but it kind of feels like I'm doing... I did those in rapid succession, cause. But the the thing about let's let's panic is like like you know I didn't want to do a standard let's play again like I did with Fighter Z because, what I did with, the Fighter Z let's plays was I would play them, and I would record them as I play them and then I would come back and do the commentary, as opposed to let's panic where it's like I'm doing the commentary as I'm playing, so. Um, yeah, it's 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 different. It's a. It's a different dive that I took for this one, because I genuinely fucking panic every time I play Doom. So, it, that was fun to do. I really wish Let's Panic Again had taken off the same way the first one did, but, you know, you, you guys have plenty of time to go back and watch them, especially with, like, the pandemic slowly but surely coming to an end. Or at least I hope it is. But, <clears throat> so, you know, October last year was when I did the big sketch. My Jotaro Kujo sketch. And I thought, what if I turn this into a, like a yearly series? Maybe a yearly? I don't know. Just whenever I have ideas. Because, to be fair, like, this fucking sketch pad is so fucking hard to draw on. Like, the proportions, when I'm looking at my lap, because, you know, when I get my, when I look at the, the designs that I'm going to do for, for a minimal effort sketch, I sit at the kitchen table. I have my laptop in front of me. I... And I observe as I'm sketching, as I'm stenciling, or outlining, whatever the fucking phrase is, okay? <laughs> but, so yeah, I'll, I'll look at my laptop, and I'll, is, is that even considered tracing? But it's not like it's an original drawing, because you guys know what the fuck it is, right when you click on the link, or you click on the video that I just uploaded. So, <clears throat> you know, as opposed to, like, my normal sketch pad that I use for, um, for minimal effort sketch... The 18 by 24 centimeter, it's so much harder to get the proportions down. And somehow I pulled it off with my Jotaro sketch, which I'm I'm still blown away by to this day. So, yeah, I figured, why not do another fucking big sketch video? Turn it into a fucking series while you're at it. Because it's not just going to be a major project one-time thing that I did, like, with, you know, There's Always Help. The Cancer PSA video that I did in university. So, without further ado... Let me introduce to you the second in the Big Sketch series.
Okay, so I'm not gonna bullshit you. This was probably much easier to do in comparison to Jotaro, because honestly, like complex anime characters with like the designs from pretty much all of JoJo, because like you know JoJo characters are so fucking hard to draw. <laughs> I think I got super fucking lucky drawing Totoro as opposed to like fucking Totoro who's like when did my neighbor Totoro come out again was it the 80s the 90s I don't remember I just know that it's my favorite Ghibli film and I fucking love Totoro I even got on my neighbor Totoro wallet because that's how much I fucking love this creature but um yeah in comparison to Totoro this was a lot easier to pull off like despite the difference in proportions compared to my normal sketch pad I'd probably say, yeah, it's so much easier. I didn't have to worry about, you know, fucking out the proportions because it's like, you know, you never have a perfect angle of Totoro. You never have a perfect angle of like animation, animated characters. So it's like, even if you do screw up the proportions just a little bit, who's gonna fucking notice? And that's me saying, that's me admitting that I'm not a perfect artist. I'm barely an artist like I didn't start drawing until 2018 so any advice that you ask me for I'm probably not gonna give it to you but yeah I think the most challenging part about this sketch drawing Totoro was probably the shading like his fur color I did consider drawing the like not drawing but shading in the the fur on his belly but then I thought no because number one you know, the rest of his fur was a fucking pain in the ass. It legit cut off while I was shading. Because I thought, you know, my camera's good on battery, memory. It fucking cut off. But, um... And second, you know, um... With his... With his, um... I guess exterior fur. I used a 2H pencil. And I started to think about it. And I was like, you know, the 2H and the 6H might be a little too close... To kind of tell the difference between the fur so it wouldn't be as accurate and plus you know my sketch pad the the pages in it are yellow so it's like you kind of already drawn totoro's belly and shaded it in <laughs> it's not me being lazy it's just you know i want this to be accurate so i did my best for that but overall much much easier definitely the shading was much more challenging than than the outlining the stenciling so this was really fun. I might actually end up turning this into a full series. I'll think about it because ideas are really fuck are, are like really starting to become difficult to come by. And it's not to say that I'm losing inspiration. It's just you know I don't want to jump into something that I'm not a fan of, or I don't want to jump into something that I'm not familiar with. I don't like doing that. Like if you recommend me something like fucking Star Wars or Harry Potter, I'm not gonna draw it because I don't watch either of those series or have ever been a fan of them so just gonna go ahead and warn you if you don't see minimal effort sketch season four next spring it's not because i'm fucking tired it's because i don't have any ideas but i will do my best to cook up some ideas because i i'm really starting to enjoy this every time i do it even if it doesn't take off like previous seasons like yeah the first two seasons were great at least in my opinion and then the third was you like some, you don't like some, but that's okay, because, you know, that's, you get to that point sometimes, but, um, yeah, like I said, this was really fun, I hope to do another big sketch around this time next year, um, please, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell if you want more content, if, if you want to be the first to know whenever I upload, because I still got a lot more planned, even though I just vented about running out of ideas. <laughs> So, um, thanks for watching. Leave some feedback. See you guys later.